Tina Taviano continues to be a government employee, but isn't on the job as the city's 911 director. News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon has been digging for answers regarding why. She's merely deciding as well as the city is what would be best for both parties in this case. Until a decision is reached by both parties, Taviano will continue to net $260 a day, which is a day's pay for her $67,000 a year position. I spent the day inside the city county building trying to find out what exactly led to the decision to place Taviano on paid leave. We started the day inside the city human resources office on level three. They directed us to go to level nine and stop inside the city's law department. They directed us to the mayor office who directed us to the mayor's public information office. Now, several steps later, we found out that due to the type of Taviano's position, we may never actually know the full details. News Channel 15 submitted formal requests for Taviano's employee file, which didn't contain much information, especially when it comes to things like write-ups or reprimands. Under the access to public records, if any of that information existed, uh, it would be releasable by the city, and nothing has been released because there is nothing there from Ms. Taviano. Senior leadership positions within the city aren't like a typical hourly employee. That means the city doesn't really need a reason to get rid of someone in that capacity. Those positions are truly serving at the will of the city of Fort Wayne and at the will of the mayor. Therefore, they're uh, subject to and available for termination or resignation at a very short notice. Now, something as simple as creative differences could be a reason for asking a senior member to go on leave while it is then explored if they'll continue on in a different capacity. Now, we still don't know if that is the case in this situation. With no documentation, it means unless a lawsuit is filed or Taviano breaks her silence, we may never officially know what led to Monday's events. Matt McCutcheon, News Channel 15.